Okay, guess what? We're gonna set up a hydroponic garden. <laughs> okay, so uh, for you folks at home who didn't get that joke, it took us a couple of tries to set up the video camera, but this time we're pretty sure we've got it. So we're setting up a hydroponic garden. And this video is for the other classes so they can watch because they'll be checking in on our garden too. But what we're wondering is, what is hydroponics? Who can tell me? What is a hydroponic garden? So a hydroponics is growing plants in water instead of in soil. Now I already tested this at home, so I grew a bunch of herbs in just water with no soil. And then I transplanted them to pots because I wanted the garden to be empty so I could show you how it works. But I could have just kept growing them in this hydroponics garden, okay? Now, what does a plant need soil for? What does it get from the soil, Jake? Nutrients. Nutrients. Yes. So if our plant is just growing in water, how is it going to get nutrients? How is it going to get nutrients? Guesses? Exactly. I'm going to add the nutrients, or you're going to add the nutrients, into the water. Okay? So let's see what we've got here. We've got water. The school's water is, I think, chlorinated. And I didn't want to use chlorinated water. So I brought in some distilled water. Okay? Distilled. Then, I have a little package of liquid plant food. So this is where they're going to get their nutrients in the water. And then we have some of these cherry tomatoes. That's what we're going to be growing. Okay. These were a present for you guys from my mommy, who's a very nice lady. And she sent us this. And here's our hydroponic garden. I can get it out of here. Okay. Oh, I've seen that before. You've seen these? Yep. Who has one? Um, so my brother was to watch um, Ranger and on YouTube and he has one. And he has one? Nice. Now, if water just sits still in a spot, what happens to it? It gets old. It gets old, right? And kind of. Stagnant, good word. Well, it does absorb into the ground, too, yes. Now, we don't have ground, so that won't be a problem. But we do have to worry about the water getting used up by the plants and evaporating. So you'll see we have to add more water. But yes, if the water just sits still, it gets stale or stagnant. And do you think that would be good for our plants? No. No. So... What we're plugging in right now is a little pump. And this little pump is going to turn on every now and then to keep the water moving so that it stays fresh. Okay, it's going to keep the water circulating. That's also going to help the food move around and get to the plants, right? We're going to keep everything circulated. Now, why do we need a light? What else do plants need? Light, sunlight. Sunlight, right? They need sunlight. Wait, no, we got enough sunlight. Oh. You would think, but does this room have any windows? No. No. So you can grow plants in a very sunny window, but plants actually, especially when they're starting, need a lot of sunlight. So this light is going to give them some artificial sunlight. Okay? Now, we're going to take this off, and we're going to fill this. Now, inside, you guys can't see this from your angle, but inside, in the middle, we can see the pump. Are you getting that, Emma? Yeah. We can see the pump, and we can see this thing says, fill to here, so I know how full to fill it. So I'm going to. Let me make sure everything's steady. You'll see there's some gauges on the front, too, and already it's saying to me, add water. What are you doing running me without water? We're going to keep this jug of water here because we're going to need to top this off every now and then. Now we're not going to be able to tip this up anymore. But 
But already I can see that the water is bubbling out of this little pump. Put a splash more in there. There it goes. Can you see that, Emma? Yeah. Okay. Can you guys see that? Yeah. See it bubbling out of the top? So that's going to keep our water circulating. Now we've got to read this quick. Directions for use. Shake bottle. I'm on it. I got that one. Okay. Add plant food directly into the water bowl. The cap on the bottle holds four milliliters of plant food. Use this cap as a measuring tool. So when you first start up, now it says a two to three pod module. Do I have a two to three pod module? How many have I got? Six. Six. So a six to seven, two capfuls at startup and every two weeks. Now there's actually a light on the front that says add plant food. It's going to turn red whenever we need to add more plant food. So if you ever come in and that light's red, what are you going to do? Tell me. Tell me. Two capfuls. So can you see this? Nope. It's nasty. It's nasty looking. It's kind of brown and gross. But it's just chock full of healthy things that our plants want and need. All right. And it dripped a little, so. It's not nasty, it's nutritious. Think of it as like the Brussels sprouts that the plant needs. Okay, so we've got our bubbles bubbling, we've got our plant food in, we can put our top on. Notice I've got to make sure all of my little cords are where they need to be because do water and electricity mix well? No. Nope. And now lastly, we can put our tomatoes in. So these come in a little pod. Now something needs to hold the seeds while they grow. I can't just float seeds on the water, can I? So what they put them in, and I'll bring one around so you can see. Oh, yay, they sent us more plant food. This is very helpful because this one's almost empty. They put them in these little pods, and it kind of looks like soil, but in the herbs that I just planted, I noticed that what they actually are is kind of a spongy material. So you can see the roots coming out of it. Yeah, the roots are going to come right out the side as soon as the plant starts to grow. So it's kind of a little spongy material, right? And the seeds are dropped into the top. And I'm just going to pop one of these pods into each of these little spaces. And they float at first. I can see them floating up. Show one on camera, Emma? Is that a good angle? Yeah. Okay. All right. So now they're each kind of bobbing away in the water there. Now they've given me these little plastic tanks. What do you suppose these are for? Bugs and things out. What else, Jake? Um, they might, um, the yeah, they they might have like a greenhouse effect, right? So they're going to do two things. They're going to help focus the light down into our little plant, and keep what inside the plants. But once the plants get a little bit big, we'll take them off. What do they keep inside while the plant's starting out? Good guess. Water, right? They're going to help keep the moisture inside so not as much evaporates. You know how when you put a glass top over an aquarium or something, the water collects on the top of it? And if you've ever been in a greenhouse 
in the springtime where they grow flowers. Lots of times there's water droplets up on the top. This little plastic cap is going to help keep the moisture inside of our little seed pods. Okay? Now I don't know how soon these will germinate. What does germinate mean? Yeah, they'll start to grow. They'll get their leaves and they'll start to pop up. Right now they're just seeds. Okay, you can hit stop.